Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me and thanks for being here. Today I wanted to tell you about somebody very special to me and that is my brother-in-law, Dave. Recently we celebrated his 60th birthday and many people as they age, they turn 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever age, they get upset along the way and they feel their mortality and they don't like celebrating birthdays and they're just floored that they could actually be that age. And I was surprised when we were celebrating his birthday and it was his 60th birthday. And I was surprised because he is an individual that has lived his entire life with a mindset of growth. And that's why I wanted to tell you about him. He is so passionate about everything that he does and everybody that he spends time with and any project he takes on and his work. And he is one of the most bubbly, effervescent, fun person you want to be around, spend your time around, stick to like Velcro, quite frankly. I've known him since I was 10. Um, that of any individual that uh, you meet. And I mean that, and not just because I love him and he's my brother-in-law, but because that's the type of person he is. Dave loves to learn new things. And mindset is all about how you live your life. You're either going to live it from a fixed mindset where if a new challenge comes along, a positive challenge, or something challenging circumstances that are, um, I don't want to say negative, but challenging health or challenging finances, but challenging things as far as creating something new. He takes it on with full-fledged enthusiasm and desire. And I say this, well, the next line I'm about to say, I say this with all respect for him and advice for the rest of us, like children do. If you see a child working on a project or building something or they, they don't do it half halfway, they are focused, they are determined, they are just into that whatever they're doing, that is, that, that watercolor painting, they are doing it with all enthusiasm and they're focused on it and they're in the moment. And that is a growth mindset. And I don't know exactly what happens. We don't keep that as adults. We should, I feel. But somewhere along the way, we lose that probably because stress has come into our life as we grow up, like finances and uh, relationships and different things that we have to deal with that we didn't have to deal with as children. But that, that focus and that joy and that pure happiness and that desire of just, oh, let's do this, Dave has that at 60 years old. And if I could tell you, if I could show you a one minute picture, uh, uh, slide, a slideshow of his life, you would see a man who started out as the son of a farmer who married a wonderful girl who created a built their own house, started out as a little A-frame, looked like something from, uh, absolutely adorable, from Little House on the Prairie, and added on to that as their finances allowed, like any new couple starting out, 
and added on to that and added on to that. And Dave would see something on television or he would see somebody that had this, I don't know, beautiful fish pond with a waterfall uh, in the back of their house. And he'd say, wow, that's, that's, um, that's beautiful. That's amazing. What would Dave do? Dave would go out and learn how to do it or learn how to do as much of it as he could. And when I say that, I don't mean, I mean, 99% uh, if he needed a, you know, concrete truck to pour a foundation of concrete on something, he would obviously hire them to do that. But all the creating, if you saw his house now, people come and we just want to be there because it's the Garden of Eden. And he's done all that through a mindset of growth. And he is one of my favorite people because he's always up and positive and ready to take on something new and always has fresh ideas. I get, I get excited just talking about him. I get motivated. Let's do something. And he's, he is a very special individual and I'm privileged to have known him as long as I have. And he doesn't look 60, he looks 45 maybe. He acts 21, and when I say that, I mean he has the energy level of a 21 year old young man that can just go, go, and go uh, without stopping um, as far as uh, energy level. I've never seen someone like him. You pull into his driveway, he's never sitting down, always on the go. He has the attitude of, I can't put an age on it, just an attitude of a person who is not afraid to take anything on. And he's built a beautiful life because of that. Along with his wife and his two great kids and They've built a beautiful life together, but he's been the person that has always created the newness or been the um, chairperson of the newness. And I encourage all of you, you have what it takes inside you to create the life that you wish. It just comes from a mindset of growth, not I can't do this, I don't know how. Dave would see something and say, hmm, I don't know how to do that now, but I really like it and I really want it, so I'm going to learn how to do it and do it myself. A lot of things he would do himself because it's a lot less money than hiring someone to build a fish pond and waterfall from your own home. And he seriously did that. He's done so many beautiful things. Uh, I've ne again, I could repeat over and over, I've never met anybody like him. So Dave, my dear, this is a little tribute to you from me, and I think you're an example that the world could learn from. So to the rest of you, thank you for watching as always, and live your life with passion, desire, coming from a mindset of growth, and you'll never go wrong. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you really soon.